D23. This is what inspires us. Thank you to all the audience members, all the fans. We appreciate you. Avengers! Assemble. Avatar The Way of Water. D23! If you're a Disney fan, this is the place to be. You fans are truly legendary. I'm so excited! D23. D23. The ultimate convention. This place has got everything. Wakanda forever! This thing is uh, bananas. What's up, everybody? And you cannot believe the spectacular technological innovations. Inside out, too! We need to give you some new news. You are the first audience to get a sneak peek. What we set out to do is not just tell a good story, but to have a lot of impact. Can't wait for this show! <laughs> Taking the edge of technology is the formula for success, and we try to extend that legacy. I love you, Disney fans. The community is just full of wonderful people, and it's just you feel at home. We've never seen anything like this. It is literally the ultimate Disney experience. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Asad Ayaz, and I have the tremendous pleasure of being uh, the Chief Red Officer, serving as the Chief Red Officer uh, for the Walt Disney Company. Uh, as you just heard from Bob, D23 this August is going to be the ultimate fan event um, for the ultimate Disney fans. We at Disney really are lucky to have the most passionate and devoted fandoms in the world, who each and every day inspire the Disney creators and cast members behind the magic you all know and love. From Pixar and Disney Parks to Marvel, ESPN, Star Wars, and beyond, our fans are truly unmatched. And we're immensely grateful for the deep sense of pride and ownership our fans feel for the stories and characters we bring to life across the worlds of Disney. D23, the ultimate Disney fan event, will give fans, um, tens of thousands of our biggest fans, an unbelievable experience this year. It'll be everything fans love about D23 on a totally new level. Today, you're going to hear about the expanded show floor that will feature the latest and greatest from Disney brands and partners. And of course, the big on-stage entertainment moments and conversations with our top talent and creators. And this year, we thought, what better way to kick off the weekend's festivities than a D23 day at Disneyland? For the first time ever, we're hosting a D23 day at the happiest place on Earth on Thursday, August 8th. More to come on this in just a few minutes. And we're not stopping there, because we're taking things to the next level. It's only fitting that we need more space to accommodate everything we have in store. So this year, for our biggest presentations on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, thousands of fans will gather at the HANA Center to experience our marquee programming and presentations on a state-of-the-art arena stage. This will allow more fans to enjoy the experience and maximize their time with all of our spectacular daytime offerings. First Friday evening, we're bringing the very best of our film and television studios uh, and Disney Entertainment to the stage at the Honda Center for one incredible night with our biggest stars and storytellers. Fans will get exclusive first looks at the movies, series, and stage shows they love, sneak peeks, and behind-the-scenes access you will not get anywhere else, brought to you by the magic makers themselves. And of course, it wouldn't be D23 without lots of surprises. One of the things that sets Disney apart is the groundbreaking way we're able to bring so many of our stories and characters to life in our games, in our theme parks, resorts, cruise ships around the world. So on Saturday night, get ready to be wowed by our main stage showcase from Disney Experiences. Join Disney Experiences Chairman Josh Namaro on Saturday for a special showcase featuring the latest on new and highly anticipated projects in development around the world. With global announcements, special surprises, and show-stopping performances, this will be a show that the biggest Disney fans will not want to miss. And finally, D23 would not be complete without a legendary celebration to close out the weekend. 
So on Sunday, August 11th, we're excited for fans to join us for this year's Disney Legends Awards ceremony at the Hana Center to honor a new class of visionaries and artists who have made significant contributions to the Disney legacy. This epic production will include surprise entertainment and heartwarming tributes to each of the honorees. Now, the ceremony of the size and scale we're planning calls for a seasoned host with some experience and star power of his own. He's a game show host, a producer, host of American Idol, American Top 40, and New Year's Rockin' Eve on ABC. To unveil our 2024 Disney Legends honorees, here's the message from our very own Ryan Seacrest. Thank you. The Disney Legends ceremony has become one of the Walt Disney Company's most meaningful traditions, where we celebrate people who define Disney and who have made an indelible mark on the company. Established in 1987, the award is the highest honor the Walt Disney Company can bestow. It is reserved for the artists and visionaries throughout the company's history who have pushed the envelope of creativity, challenged conventional wisdom, and broken the restraints of the status quo in search of new possibilities and excellence. The award is a celebration of talent, a recognition of achievement, and above all, a sincere expression of gratitude. Thank you, and I love you all. Today, I'm thrilled to announce the exceptional people who will become Disney legends at D23, the ultimate Disney fan event in August in Anaheim, California. Colleen Atwood in costume design. Angela Bassett in film and television. Martha Blanding in parks and resorts. James Brooks in television. James Cameron in film. Jamie Lee Curtis in film. Miley Cyrus in television and music. Steve Ditko in publishing. Harrison Ford in film. Mark Henn in animation. Frank Oz in film and television. My good friend Kelly Ripa in television. Joe Rohde in Imagineering. And John Williams in music. And I'm truly honored to be the host of the very special ceremony that will take place on Sunday, August 11th. Looking forward to seeing all of you this summer to celebrate these Disney legends. Disney's finest in storytelling, innovation, and inspiration. Uh, good morning, and thank you, Assad, for a uh, uh, warm welcome. And uh, so great to see so many of you uh, familiar faces here, all of our big Disney fans in the audience. I'm Michael Vargo, I'm the head of D23, and I want to welcome you to the Grand Central Air Terminal. This is actually the home of our D23 offices. And I have to say, we are very fortunate to work in such a creative, unique space where we thought it was like the perfect venue to welcome you to our home to share the plans for D23, the ultimate Disney fan event. Now this is going to be our eighth D23 event in Anaheim, and I'm thrilled to be a part of the journey since our very first one back in 2009. I have to say, it has certainly morphed and grown into the powerful fan gathering that it is today. And like Walt Disney said about Disneyland, Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world. And we felt the same about this event. And as Asad said earlier, it will be like no other. Now, before we get into more information about the details for August, we thought it would be great to give you the very first look at our fun art that fans will see in our communications leading up to the event and throughout the week in Anaheim. It celebrates the iconic Sorcerer Mickey and is a nod to our very first D23 Expo in 2009. And we're thrilled to welcome back Visa as our presenting sponsor. And you'll soon see this magical version of Sorcerer Mickey on the front of the venue and throughout the streets of Anaheim. And we are thrilled to announce that D23, the ultimate Disney fan event, is getting the ultimate kickoff party, the first ever D23 day at Disneyland Resort. Already a beloved de destination for Disney fans around the world, it's the perfect location for the fun to start on Thursday, August 8th. And both Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure Park will welcome ticketed D23 fans from rope drop until late night. 
and Disneyland Park guests could enjoy a custom cavalcade and an energetic dance party. And at both theme parks, guests will find special photo opportunities and so much more. And as part of D23 Day at Disneyland Resort, Disney Junior will host a lively, fun-filled celebration for preschoolers and their families at Disney California Adventure Park on Thursday, August 8th. Afterwards, the Disney Junior festivities will continue on through the weekend, uh, through Sunday, at the Downtown Disney District. But wait, there's more. Starting on Sunday, August 4th, all the way through Sunday, August 11th, at the Downtown Disney District, more D23 fun could be had. Guests were gonna find special offers, decor, and magical moments throughout the weekend. Now guests do not need a separate reservation or admission to enjoy the D23 festivities at Downtown Disney District. But all guests with a valid theme park admission and reservation, including D23 members and D23 event attendees, are invited to enjoy the resort-wide celebration. So admission to both theme parks is available for purchase for all Disney fans. And regular theme park admission prices apply, and both theme park admission and park reservations will be required for park entry for every Disney guest. You can visit our website for all the ticket options and details and more information. All right, let's talk about the weekend fun at the Anaheim Convention Center. This is the heart where everything will once again showcase the best of Disney storytelling and innovation with an immersive show floor that's gonna be chock full of great experiences and activities and it's going to be livelier than ever. I'm so excited for the show floor this year. We've redesigned the show floor and expanded its footprint and new this year, we're actually using all four halls within the convention center, A through D, so fans can explore even more of what they want throughout the weekend. Some of our fan favorite experiences will return to the show floor, and we're gonna have some new ones as well. I can't wait to check it out, including Pixar, Disney Animation Studios, Marvel Studios, Disney Plus, Lucasfilm, Disney Experiences, and Avatar. And of course, the Walt Disney Archives, one of my favorites to visit. Um, and that team has been developing a first of the kind ex experience for D23. You may have wondered why there's some display vehicles outside when we first came in. Well, I'm thrilled to announce that this year's exhibition will be a great big beautiful car show from the Walt Disney Archives. We will have some of the most iconic, along with a few unusual vehicles on display from beloved stories across the many worlds of Disney. They have traveled byways on the big screen, television, and even down Main Street USA and Disneyland. Now, there'll be plenty of returning fan favorites as well. We're gonna have photo spots, interactive displays and pavilions, pin trading, concessions, and of course, shopping. Now we have taken the shopping experience at D23 to a whole new level, literally. Our main shopping location will offer more than ever before, and we are relocating our shopping area to an expanded space on the second level of North Hall. So the World of Disney, the product experience, is a must-visit destination to shop and experience limited edition merchandise from Disney uh, D23 Marketplace, Disney Publishing, Disney Store, and your favorite Disney brands. We are also bringing back virtual queue for shopping at select locations as well, so guests will be able to maximize their time at the event. And many of our fan favorite shopping destinations will return to the show floor, including Mickey's at Glendale, the Hollywood Studio Store, the Emporium, you know, the place where you can discover all the rare collectibles and memorabilia, and for the first time in D23, the Walt Disney Company Store will make its debut. Here, you will find D23, the ultimate Disney fan event, branded exclusive products like shirts, hats, bags, and so much more. All right, so we talked about the show floor, we talked about the shopping, and we gave you a preview of some of the exhibits. But another big part of the D23 event are the shows, panels, presentations, and all the conversations with our storytellers, creators, and talent. And our stages have always featured uh, great content that have entertained fans of all generations, and this year is gonna be no different. We are bringing back the big arena, you know, the venue that was large enough to fit a small airplane in last time. 
While the premiere stage will accommodate more than 3,000 fans with spectacular entertainment and productions. And our Hyperion and Backlot stages will both, will both uh, located on the second floor and will hold just over 400 and 700 seats respectively. The Spotlight stage is new this year and will be located on the main show floor so you can catch all the action. And we've announced the programming, uh, we will announce programming the details and schedules for each location as the date draws near. So stay tuned for more information. But there's one more stage to share. The Walt Disney Archive stage is an expanded stage and located on the third floor of the convention center with up to 1400 seats. And I'm excited to give you a special first look at a few of the presentations that will take place at the Walt Disney Archive stage. This is a place where we're going to host a variety of panels, creative discussions, and engaging presentations that will speak to many aspects of Disney history. Our session topics that we're going to announce today include Walt's famous trips to Latin America in the 1940s, the creative impact of the 1964-1965 New York World's Fair, and host a conversation amongst members of the newest class of Disney legends announced today. These are just a few of the exciting topics, and if you're a fan of all things Disney history, then this is the presentation venue for you. Also returning and moving to the larger premiere stage at the arena is our fan favorite ultimate Disney costume contest, Mouse Parade. A host of celebrity judges will critique the most incredible handmade costumes designed and created by Disney fans. Love this show. Registration opens right now, and more details are available at d23.com. So as you can see, we went big with D23 this year, but we have even more fun in store throughout the entire week. Our first ever D23 day at Angel Stadium will take place on Sunday, August 4th, at the game between the Angels and the New York Mets. And like Disney fans, sports fans are in a league of their own. The idea of just getting together, cheering on something you love, is what it's really all about. And the stadium is going to come to life with D23 fun, including special trivia, photo spots, and so much more. And the first 23,000 fans in the gate that day will receive a commemorative, one-of-a-kind D23 Mickey Mouse bobblehead. Now that's a home run. I can't wait to get it. You won't want to miss any of the baseball action and fun as it will be a memorable day at the ballpark. And tickets are on sale now at angelsbaseball.com. You also want to get ready for a spectacular lineup of exclusive prizes and engaging experiences that only Disney can deliver with D23, the ultimate Disney sweepstakes, fantastic prizes. Unparalleled in our history, we're bringing, to the, be bringing the best of Disney together with 23 one-of-a-kind prizes from around the Walt Disney Company. And to give you a little taste of the types of prizes we're talking about, imagine yourself setting sail on a seven-night adventure on the maiden voyage of Disney Cruise Line's newest ship, the Disney Treasure. This will be the first opportunity to experience unique spaces inspired by beloved Disney characters, films, and parks attractions. That's right, we're pleased to announce that one winner will have the opportunity to experience this luxurious sailing on the Caribbean Islands this December with a stop at Disney's private Paradise Castaway Key. I'm signing up and I hope I'm eligible to win. <laughs> <laughs> but starting July 8th, you can enter for a chance to win and even more of our fantastic prizes. Visit our website for more info. And throughout the week, we have special, uh, several other special D23 fan club activities that you will not want to miss. We mentioned all the D23 fun taking place at Downtown Disney, beginning on Sunday the 4th and ending on Sunday the 10th. And on Monday, August 5th, D23, in partnership with Speak Food Cinema, will present an outdoor screening of The Incredibles to celebrate its 20th anniversary. The event will take place at Pearson Park in Downtown Anaheim. And tickets for D23 members will go on sale May 3rd on D23.com. On Tuesday, August 6th, Fans can meet up for a special D23 night at the Anaheim Packing District in the heart of downtown Anaheim just to enjoy some food, some drinks, some trivia, and some special D23 touches. No ticket is required, and fans can just mix and mingle and get ready for the week ahead. 
And throughout the event weekend, our D23 Gold members will once again have exclusive access to special offers, discounts, and promotions from D uh, various Disney partners. The popular D23 member and charter member lounges will give uh, attendees a, plan a place to recharge and relax. And for the first time ever, D23 Gold members attending the event will, will receive a commemorative and collectible pin, which is pretty exciting. And we listen to our Gold members wanting more from this event. So we put together several exclusive benefits when it comes to gold member ticket purchasing, which we will share in just a few minutes. So to hear all the information about everything you need to know about our ticketing and, price, and prices, I'd like to invite up our uh, general manager of D23, Mitch Powers, along with our D23 director of marketing, Nan Song. Will you please come up and join us on stage? Thanks, Michael. Dan and I are excited to bring you all the details when it comes to a lot of the questions that fans have been asking about since we announced the event at Destination D23. First, let's talk about when tickets will go on sale. So we'll be offering two pre-sale windows, and to kick things off, we're excited to announce that D23 Gold members will have first access to purchase tickets for a limited time starting at 12 p.m. Pacific on Tuesday, March 26th. Then, in partnership with our friends at Visa, we're also thrilled to announce that all D23 members who are also Visa card holders and who pay with their Visa will have pre-sale access to purchase tickets for a limited time while supplies last, beginning at 12 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday, March 27th. Then, on Thursday, March 28th, tickets for all D23 members will go on sale beginning at 12 p.m. Pacific. Now, let's talk about the next big topic that everybody's asking about, ticket prices. We're excited to offer multiple ticketing options to allow as many fans as possible to attend and to have as much flexibility and choice when it comes to accessing the multiple venues throughout the weekend. In addition to flexible ticketing options, we're also happy to share that prices for select 2024 single day tickets remain the exact same as 2022, but now include a reserve seat for the nighttime shows at the Honda Center and same day access to the Anaheim Convention Center. This represents an incredible value for fans who now get to experience almost 12 hours of Disney fan fun per day. So our ticket options include two main types of tickets. First is the D23 Ultimate Fan Pass, which it provides a reserved seat for nighttime shows at the Honda Center and same day access to all experiences at the Anaheim Convention Center. Now with the D23 Ultimate Fan Pass, you will not have to wait to find out if you will have a seat at the biggest presentations your reserve seat that you choose will be waiting for you. Our other ticketing option is the D23 Fan Pass, which includes all day access to the amazing experiences, presentations, and shopping which you heard from Michael at the Anaheim Convention Center only. We want to emphasize also that Disney has an unwavering commitment to providing a welcoming, inclusive environment and accessible experiences for all of our guests. And at the event, we'll once again offer a number of tools and resources, including accessible seating, sign language interpretation, card services, assisted listening, now, a few pricing options for the D23 Ultimate Fan Pass, which we feel is the best overall value since it provides access to both of our main venues. In addition, guests will also be able to handpick their desired seat for the nighttime shows at the Honda Center. So first, the D23 Ultimate Fan Pass one-day ticket includes a reserved seat for nighttime shows at the Honda Center and same-day access to all the experiences at the Anaheim Convention Center. This one-day pass starts at $99 per ticket. Next is the option that we think will be the most popular with our fans, and that's the D23 Ultimate Fan Pass three-day ticket. That includes a three-day seat for the nighttime shows at the Honda Center, guaranteeing the same seat each night, along with three-day access to all the experiences at the Anaheim Convention Center. These three-day tickets start at $297 per ticket. And finally, for the fans who want the best seats in the house, we will have a very limited number of the D23 Preferred Ultimate Fan Pass, which includes a three-day seat for nighttime shows at the Honda Center, floor seating, same seat each day, and three-day access to all experiences at the Anaheim Convention Center. And these three-day tickets will start at $999 per ticket, and this is available exclusively to D23 Gold members. And for fans that want to enjoy all the great experiences at the Anaheim Convention Center only, we have the D23 Fan Pass. Now, these tickets are most comparable to what guests purchased in 2022, 
And we've actually reduced pricing on these tickets from what they were in 2022 by $10 a day for the one-day ticket and $20 for a three-day ticket. And for each of these ticketing tiers, guests can purchase up to eight total passes each. In addition, as we've done in previous years, there will be a selection of limited edition D23 merchandise available for purchase with tickets only. You can check it out in this display over here. And as you can see, we have something for everyone that delivers on incredible experience at a great value. Now, year over year, we've worked hard to reduce the amount of time that our guests stand in line. Uh, we are excited to announce that our very popular advanced reservation system for panels, presentations, and shows at the Anaheim Convention Center will be back again this year. And new this year, we'll be expanding reservation opportunities and allowing guests to make reservation selections for up to eight total guests, hopefully their entire party, for most shows and presentations at the Anaheim Convention Center only. In addition, guests will also have the opportunity to add, modify, or cancel their reservations before the event which is also new to <clears throat> And Michael announced earlier that the popular virtual queue will be back and available for shopping at select Disney locations as well. More details on this will be shared as we get closer to the event. And as always, standby queues will be available at all stage venues for guests who don't get reservations for panels, presentations, or Talent Central at the Anaheim Convention Center. And for the health and safety of all our guests, overnight queuing is not available for the event and will not be allowed around the perimeter of the Anaheim Convention Center or the Honda Center. I think with all these great options, we're hoping it's not needed. Uh, so now for another exciting topic that we know fans are eager to hear more about, parking and transportation. Uh, because we're in multiple locations this year, we are providing fans with several transportation options to maximize their time at the different venues. We're excited to announce that we will be offering complimentary round-trip shuttle service, including accessible options, between the Anaheim Convention Center and the Honda Center before and after the nighttime shows on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Additional details on all transportation and parking options, and there's going to be a lot, uh, including shuttles, buses, and ride-share options for the Honda, uh, Anaheim Convention Center and Honda Center will be provided closer to the event. I think that covers about all the big things. For everything else, including updated information and additional things to know, please make sure to visit d23.com and, of course, mark your calendars for these ticket on sale dates. So, with that, we're going to bring back Michael Barton. Right. Thank you, uh, thank you. We're going to be happy to take your questions here, and I'd like to invite on the stage with me uh, to join Rich and Ann and myself. Uh, the director of the Walt Disney Archives, Becky Klein, and the director of our Corporate Communications, uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, if you have any questions, Bruce, I'll call on you. And I already see a hand. Well, thank you guys for coming today. Um, you know, we're really excited about this event, so we hope you guys are as well. And I know with the bigger expanding event, there's always going to be a lot more questions. So we just wanted to kind of get some of those out today. Uh, let's start over here. Yeah, hi. Uh, so what is the point of expanding like this? Do you, do you expect to have tens of thousands of more fans coming? And what's the seating capacity at the Honda Center? You know, we were limited uh, at Hall D23 in previous years with the number of seats that we could accommodate there in the venue, just the size of the venue. So we wanted, it, the demand was so high to get into those presentations that we needed to find a bigger space, and there wasn't one at the Anaheim Convention Center. So we chose the Honda Center. It gives us more seating in the venue itself, and also allows us for bigger production value as well. You know, we're not no longer in a convention hall, we're in a true state-of-the-art uh, arena that is really lends itself to this kind of show production. So we're excited about it. So we did increase uh, our capacity by a few thousand. And what, how many people can fit in the Honda Center? It's almost double what we did with all D23 last year. So we're, we're close, I think, uh, we're about 12,000 total from the theater seat, south seating. I think an important thing for the Honda Center is that, that reserve seat, right? Hall D23 was one of those uh, presentations that always drove the most urgency and demand for seating, right? And you didn't know if you're gonna get in. We had a lot of fans who stayed overnight. Um, we're so excited that all of our guests are gonna have a reserve seat. They're gonna know where they're gonna sit before they even get to the event itself. So we think this will take a lot of stress out of the event. We know that uh, this event is great and people love it, but it can be a little stressful sometimes. So we're hoping that all of these new uh, additions that we're adding uh, really help uh, and make the fans have a, a more enjoyable time. And it helps them also, if they're not going to the Honda Center, 
you know, before it's like, do I wait in line for Hall D or not? Now it's like, you know what, they can just plan their day at the convention center and they have more options to choose from and, and really maximize their time at the event itself. Let's get one right here in the front. Hi, as somebody who's gone to every single day of every expo, just thank you for like all the thought you put into all of these changes because uh, it's really appreciated. But I'm curious about the virtual, or actually the selection of the seat for the Honda Center. So is that gonna be like a virtual queue sort of system? Are we gonna have to sit online for many hours or will there be like an email saying, hey, it's your turn, how's that gonna work with the seat selection? How was your Taylor Swift buying experience? It will be better than that. <laughs> but like for Star Wars night, I know recently, instead of waiting online for hours, there was that option to get an email saying, hey, it's your turn. Is it gonna be kind of random or is it gonna be like first come, first serve? So we will have our virtual queue again to get into the ticketing uh, platform that we have, right? Once you get in, you'll select your different options. Um, if you choose to go and get the D23 Ultimate Fan Pass, which is the Honda Center and the ACC Access, you will have an opportunity to choose your seats at the Honda Center in a seating chart, very similar to what you, if you bought a ticket on any of the major ticketing platforms for a concert or things like that, same sort of situation. We'll be sharing a lot more information on this on D23.com uh, in the next couple of days, uh, as well as sort of a, a walkthrough on how that works. Certainly there's some added uh, choices you have now, so it may take a little longer for checkout because it's up to you on what you want to do, and we try to make it as flexible as possible. But certainly, we want you to select your seats. Um, once you have those, they're in your cart, you're good to go. Um, and we think it's going to be a really uh, smooth process for everybody. It may take a little longer to get everybody through because everyone's selecting their individual seats, right? Um, but we will certainly have a virtual queue that will ad advise on kind of where you are in line, and, and we'll try to make it as seamless and quick as possible. If we could get the email back option, that would be a that, Yeah, that, that option we're still exploring on how we can work through our virtual cube, so more information will be coming on that. Any other questions? Uh, this one's for Becky. With the archives exhibit, you guys always steal the show. Uh, <laughs> we saw the parking lot tram. Is that going to be the biggest vehicle we're going to see, or can you give us a preview of what else we might see? It's close, but there might be something a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> No, no tales coming from me until uh, the official announcement. There's some cool stuff. Here. There's some yeah. very cool stuff going to be in that show. Dusting off some things. And yeah, like 25 to 30 different vehicles, um, and most of them we haven't shared before. So this is going to be really fun. There'll be a few old favorites and some really interesting new ones as well. So that's going to be great. In fact, one I, I will I will tell you about a special piece is going to be in there. We're going to have a 1965. Uh, Ford Mustang convertible that was from the Magic Skyway in the Ford Pavilion at the 1964-65 New York World's Fair. And that's courtesy of our friends at the Ford Archives. We're going to have one on display. So that's that I can teach, teach you a little bit about, plus the ones that are out front, and then so many more. Is there going to be a limit to how many tickets each D23 member can purchase? So uh, there's a limit of eight per ticket type. So as you check out, you can add up to eight seats, right, for your selection. And again, new this year, uh, when we heard the fans, um, we had limits last time when it reservations for panels and presentations was a plus one. We're extending that to your, hopefully your entire party of up to eight total guests. So it really matches what amount of tickets you're purchasing. Um, and again, you do have to be a D23 general or gold member to purchase tickets, and general membership is complimentary. Um, but we think it's going to be a great uh, option for our fans, and we're so excited to, to bring these to, uh, to our fans. I can do a shout. <laughs> With the, there you go. Oh, thank you. Um, with the larger show floor, I was wondering if you could talk a little about how you think that'll impact uh, like guest flow and kind of just the overall experience going through the different uh, pavilions. Yeah, it's a great question. You know, we work very closely with our engineering team, our industrial engineering team at Disneyland Resort to help us really map out what the show floor experience can be and, and what the capacity, what the throughput is. And we really want to keep that in mind. I can tell you it's not going to be any different than what it has been previously, meaning we're not like significantly 
increasing of tons of people to come out on the show for just because it's bigger. It's just we're giving more people more options to choose from. So it's just more of an expanded footprint to do things. We have a big car show to fit in there. So I was thinking of a lot of real estate with some new vehicles out here. Yes. So, um, so we just are just giving more experiences for, for, uh, for the show floor. So. Anyone else? Hi, um, I noticed the, the pricing for the tickets. It says starting at, and for each of those, uh, what is the crux for the additional? Are there going to be add-ons, or is there like a date base, or how, how are those It's just each special? collection. So when you go in and choose which seat you want at the Honda Center, we'll determine the price of, of where where the group seat is located, so is determine that. So, um, you have added the yeah, just all, all the information will be available on our website. It, that, we wanted to make as many flexible options as possible, and so it depends on where your seat is at the Honda Center. It kind of dictates a little bit of the pricing, um, you know, to give you some different options uh, from that perspective. But all that information will be available on our website. But more than half of our seats are priced at the, the value package of 149. Is it 149 and above? Or under? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so there's half the seats there. Yeah. And then, sorry, one more question. For the uh, seating at the Honda Center, I noticed uh, the language sometimes is assigned seating versus reserved seating. Is every seat? You get to choose your own seat, and that's the seat you will be in. So you get to choose section 201, row B, seat number three, and that's the seat you will be in. So you don't need to wait in line to see which part of the section you'll be in. You actually know which seat you're going to be in before you get there. I think that was my seat. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can reserve up to eight, so I can figure out my eight list. Okay. <laughs> all right, anybody else? Oh, we got one more right here in the front. <laughs> Hey, I'd just love to know a little bit more about the shuttle service. So that's a lot of people, 12,000 people, to get between uh, the two venues. Is that going to be like a kind of a timed, you know, end, like you have to get on a bus at a certain time? Or can you talk a little bit about how that's going to work? We are still fully baking our transportation plan. I can tell you it's going to be fantastic come August. We uh, gave you a little hint of what it is going to be today um, as we still are working through all of the uh, plans with our vendors and uh, the, the folks supporting the shuttles and all the transportation services. These folks know what they're doing and they have a lock, a locked plan that's going to work great. We just don't want to share too much today because some things might adjust as we fine tune some things over the next couple months. But I can tell you, come summer, we will have a full plan of how people can maximize their time and, and what time shuttles will be going, what the parking options might be as well at both locations, some of the rideshare vehicle options too. So we're really working through um, closely with the venues, with the city of Anaheim, and with all of our vendors to really put together the, the most robust transportation plan. I know that's a big um, the hot button with all the fans. They all want to know how we're getting there, what are we doing, and all that. But we're really just trying to make the most of what we can with it. So. I think it's going to be a, a, a really well thought out thing. Thank you for the free option. Yes. <laughs> and I just want to note too, I don't know if this was mentioned, doors will open two hours before showtime at the Honda Center evening presentations. We know our D23 fans love to show up early. So there will be plenty of time before the show to get there and to have some, uh, you know, obviously make their way there uh, as early as they would hopefully. You don't need to be there two hours. No, you do not. You have to reserve a seat. We know everyone likes to show up early. So. We're making it uh, available, uh, flexible for everyone. And we got time for one more right here in the front. This is just kind of piggybacks off of that one. Um, one of the biggest challenges have been seeing everything as opposed to waiting in line for Hall D23. Will there be, if you want to be at the Honda Center the two hours early, will there be an overlap of activities at the Convention Center and the Honda Center? So it may be better to go later. We are uh, doing programming up until 7 o'clock. I don't think we've announced the show hours, but the ending time at the convention center uh, is, is 7 o'clock. So if you're not going to the Honda Center, there'll be programming and things to do at the, at the Anaheim Convention Center. Or um, we'll come out again as we determine our transportation plans. What time should you actually leave by uh, at the Anaheim Convention Center and make your way to the Honda Center? So can you make that 3 o'clock show? 
for a cop show. Once we realize uh, what the transportation plan details are, you'll be able to determine that. It's an important note. Uh, the show floor um, at the Anaheim Convention Center, the hours are, I think, 9 to 7 p.m. It's a full day of programming. So for guests who don't have a ticket for the evening show, the D23 Ultimate Fan Pass, there will be so much to do. And there's always sort of choices you have to make as an attendee at this event. You know, this shows that this time that competes with maybe another show you want to go. So you have to kind of make some choices. But we certainly want to offer fans who are just going to the uh, experiences of the Anaheim Convention Center and have a great experience all day long. So um, there'll be a, a slew of programming happening all day. I would say the Honda Center programming is awesome. There's some really cool stuff happening at the convention center as well. So when we roll out that schedule and uh, the presentations line up, I think you're going to be well impressed too. No one's going to be cheated uh, if they can't make it into the Honda Center. There's going to be some great stuff to do at the convention center. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, we to uh, I hope you guys are excited for this, because like I said, we sure are. Thank you all for coming.